Hey guys, what is up? This is Cody. Or X Code A. How's it going today? That was a pretty good snap. That's a good one. Leave a like on the video, thanks. Hopefully everybody watching this video is having yourself a snazzy day. Let me know in the comments down below where you're watching the video from inside or outside of the United States. I always love to know. Today's video, I have a life story that's a 10 year long sequel. The sequel to the time where I met Wiz Khalifa. 2012, I have an entire video about it. I'm not gonna tell the whole story now. 2012, the 2050 tour, sensational. Fantastic time. Shout out to my dad for getting me the VIP ticket for my birthday. Probably one of the best gifts I'll ever get, man. <laughs> and I got to return the favor for him a couple days ago. We went to a Wiz Khalifa Logic concert. There was also a couple other people there that was fucking awesome to see. Burner was there and Chevy Woods and a couple other people. I'm a huge fan of Chevy Woods and Burner, so it was, it was like a, a, a bonus, an added bonus for sure. We showed up to the venue just in time, get into line. There's like a, there's like three different VIP lines, like kind of circling all into one little gate. I go up there nervously ask somebody like, oh, is this the right place? You know? And they're like, yeah, so p take out your phone. And we sent you an email a couple days ago. I'm looking through my email and there's nothing. And he was like, yeah, it should look just like this with a little barcode thing. And he's like, just search for the concert. And I'm like searching all over the place. Search this word. I search that. Nothing. The next word, nothing. One more word, nothing. My heart drops. I'm sitting there like, oh, fuck. We're not going to be able to get in. I spent all this money. And he's like, dude, calm down, bro. I got you. That guy was so fucking chill, man. I think it was one of like maybe the organizers for like the Taylor gang, just kind of the help help out and the VIP whenever they tour and stuff. He was super chill. You could tell that he'd done it a million times. We get our bracelets, walk into the venue. I immediately got a pee, dude. You know, listen, the nerves get get to me. All right. Any of you guys get the nervous pee? Every time you're, you're about to go do something. The worst kind of scenario. You're about to have so much fun for something you look forward to for so long. And now all you can think about is how your bladder is about to explode. And the best part is even if you could make it to the bathroom 20 minutes later, there it is again. Really, really quick before this video continues. If you guys would like to see the uncensored version of this video, check out the Patreon link in the description. More information at the end of the video. And the worst part was... As soon as we got in there, I go up to one of the workers. I'm like, hey, man, can I run to the bathroom real quick? Because it looked like we had to wait in line for a little bit. And he's just like, man, I don't think they're open yet. You're going to have to sit tight for a little bit. Dude, there's nothing worse than having someone tell you to sit tight when you got to go to the bathroom. <laughs> That's the fucking worst. It's like asking to go to the bathroom in high school, bro. Or middle school, even. So you got to sign your planner, sit tight, wait for the end of the bell. You know, some <laughs> man, those are bad times. It wasn't that bad. Had to wait maybe another 10 minutes. And now we're waiting in the line, the line for the meet and greet. I was having flashbacks of the first time, dry mouth in need of water, but no water in sight. I go up to the dude again, desperate. And there's one of the booths where they're selling beer and water and all sorts of stuff. This time they only had canned water, that that liquid death stuff or whatever. And I go up there, I'm like, hey, can I have two waters? One for me and my dad. I forgot to mention, I'm going to the concert with my dad. It was fucking awesome, I had a great time. He got to meet Wiz too. She looks me in the face and she's like, I'm not allowed to sell you water yet. Imagine that, why? Get, give me a good reason. What the hell is up with that, man? I understand the beer, because obviously, you know, liquor licenses and stuff like that. Excuse me, though, water. You're not allowed to sell me water. <laughs> it's not a big deal at all. I literally had to wait like another 15 minutes before they could allow me to buy water. I just thought that was funny. It's so hard to like, you get this like, all right, I'm going to say this. I'm going to say that. You run it back in your head. I don't know. Maybe it's just me, dude. The social anxiety cranks up to 11, you know, and I get up there and it's like, and it's like someone, and it's someone I've watched in videos for like over 10 years. It's so weird seeing them in person. So everything you thought of saying just fucking erases out of your mind like a Windows XP error sound. The interaction was pretty quick. I go up there, he pointed at my shirt because it was the, the same shirt I got 10 years ago at the concert that I, I met him originally. Um, and he's like, yeah, nice shirt, man. And I think the only thing I said to him was like, yeah, I met you 10 years ago, man. I'm a huge fan of your music. And he's just like back in business. I think it was because he was saying that, uh, cause it was one of the first concerts uh, at this venue since COVID. Um, I don't know what ended is the word, but you know, COVID wasn't as crazy and stuff now. I got the picture and I just said, thanks man. And just walked away. Oh, listen, I know. Very climactic, super exciting. I know, dude, you're on the edge of your fucking seat. I know, but. So even though my dad is not a huge fan of Wiz Khalifa, Logic, 
he seemed to have a pretty good time. He even just likes the lights and the bass, you know, just vibrating your whole body and stuff. The concert experience is definitely tinnitus inducing, man. <laughs> Ears are ringing for a solid two days after one of those concerts. And I'll be honest with you, I think it was when Burner was up. I just had the urge to smoke. I brought three pre-rolls and I was trying not to smoke before Wiz, before the main show. Because sometimes when I'm at a concert, I know this is weird, bro. It's like a thing. Everybody, when they goes to a concert, they go wild. They're drinking, smoking like crazy. But whenever, sometimes when I smoke, I just get all paranoid, dude. I, I get, I, I just meet a big crowd of people. It's hot. Everybody's smoking and stuff. It just gets to me sometimes. So I try to wait until like the main the main show so at least i'm like distracted by like how awesome the fucking show is you know it's it's hard not to have a great time when, when something like that's going on logic or wiz khalifa is performing the show is fucking lit i'm hoping they go on tour again next year because i'll definitely definitely be going back especially at the xfinity theater in harford man shout out to them because i've i've always had a really great time there not sponsored i think they might sponsor influencers and stuff but yeah, not me, okay? But, uh, listen, maybe next year, all right? Well, give me those VIP tickets for free, thanks, appreciate it. I ha and I have to know, at the end of Wiz Khalifa's performance, when he was playing See You Again, there was, like, uh, I didn't get any video of it, but there was, like, part where on, like, the screen behind him, he showed, like, all of the rappers. He showed a bunch of the rappers that had passed away in the past, like, maybe 15 years, maybe 20 years even. I thought that was a really nice thing for him to do. Now, the best part, the best part, for me, honestly. Well, I mean, the concert was pretty, pretty fucking lit. I'm not gonna lie. It was pretty fucking lit. Honestly, the coolest part about the entire day, though, was I met probably three people in the venue uh, when I was going to the bathroom, actually. Like, on the way to the bathroom. Got pictures with them. That was super cool. But, dude, when I was leaving the venue, I was feeling like Danny Duncan out there. There was, like, crowds of pe crowds of you guys coming up to me. I've never felt like more of a niche micro-internet celebrity before. <laughs> I must have shook 30 hands, so if one of you gives me COVID, I hate you, or I'll probably find out tomorrow. <laughs> no, but that was honestly, like, one of the craziest experiences ever. My dad was, like, freaking out and stuff. It was funny. <laughs> I'm honestly not out and about going to events often, but if you ever see me at one of these things, I guess this would be the best opportunity at a Wiz Khalifa concert or something. Uh, definitely say hi, man. It's always, like, a... It's like a dream come true to meet somebody that watches the video. It's crazy. It's still crazy. I don't have 900,000 subs, but it's still nuts. Even if one person comes up to me, it's like, whoa, forever grateful for this opportunity, for this situation that I've, uh, that has unfolded, man. For a dollar or two a month, you can support the channel and get access to this secret, unlisted, uncensored Patreon videos. Check the link in the description for more information. Here's a list of all the names on screen right now. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Big shout out to Logic and the Taylor gang for putting off an insane show as always, man. It was just well worth the money. That was fucking incredible time. Let me know if you have any cool stories of meeting anybody famous in the comments down below. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe with the bell on. I guess a lot of people don't got the bell on, all right? I saw it in the analytics the other day. Kind of made me a little depressed, okay? Put the fucking bell on, all right? This isn't an option. This is mandatory. I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Stay high, stay lifted, and stay snazzy. Peace.